Hello. Uh, I just thought I'd do a little update. Um, I'm glad everybody seemed to like my video with the random crap. It was uh, kind of fun to put together, anyway. So, probably won't be seeing a lot more of that sort of thing, but... Anyway, um, didn't have an internet connection all weekend. That was fun. And I wanted to do a video for Bastille Day, which was Monday, if you weren't aware. Uh, but I didn't, because I figured I didn't have an internet connection, so I couldn't upload it anyway. Um, although, to be honest, I didn't really have any idea what I wanted to do for Bastille Day. Um, I didn't particularly want to sing the Marseillaise. <laughs> uh, so... There's that. I got the internet thing sorted out. It uh, was uh, thankfully very simple problem. So anyway, um, what else? Some of you may be familiar with a fellow named Angry Aussie. Well, a fellow called Angry Aussie. His name is Andrew. And he's actually quite a nice guy despite being called Angry Aussie. Although he does get angry, so it's a good name. Anyway, um, sometimes he does these videos outside where he's um, walking around and holding the camera out in such a way that you can't really... It's not like, you know, having his arm out there holding the camera and it looks like that. Um, and the camera's always very steady, it's always pointed at him very well and and uh, and I found out that he does that by putting the camera on a monopod and I thought well that would be a nice thing to have because at some point I'd like to do some sort of uh, videos like that where I'm outside walking around maybe uh, in the woods up at the lake uh, so I thought it'd be nice to have a monopod but I didn't have a monopod and I didn't have any money to buy a monopod. So I thought, well, what do I have? I have wood. I have woodworking skills. Can I make a monopod out of wood? Turns out, I can. Here it is. Basically a stick, which is made of western red cedar. Very lightweight. Probably weighs about as much as as one made out of aluminum wood, and it's probably a little stronger. And then the top has a little screw to attach the camera to on the little platform. And this screw here to adjust the angle. It's quite simple, but very effective. And I played around with it a little bit. And it's nice. I'm quite happy with it. The only problem with it is, you know, it's this long, and it doesn't get any longer, and it doesn't get any shorter. But, can't have everything. Actually, you could, but where would be the fun in that? <laughs> I have figured out a way to, you know, if I wanted it to be longer at some point, I could fairly easily add a add a you know bit onto the end. If I wanted it to be shorter, I don't know why I would want it to be shorter, but if I did, you know, that's what saws are for. So there's that. Thought I'd show you that. It was fun to make and it should be fun to use. So Hopefully you'll be seeing some videos with that coming up relatively soon. Not going to the lake this weekend, but um, probably next weekend. So I'll take it for a walk down the road and through the woods and can see that. Actually, you know, in the in our canoe, there's a little thing uh, where you're supposed to put a mast. 
or where you can put a mast to sail the canoe. I really could stick that monopod in the hole where the mast goes and do a vlog in the canoe. That might be fun. We'll have to see about that. I guess that's about all I wanted to talk about today. So I'll uh, leave you now and just say, Vive la France!